Hello all, welcome to MSC videos. So we are discussing about a Java programming. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about a static method. So in the previous video lecture, we discussed what is mean by a static field. A field is said to be static, it is common for a class. For all those objects, a only one copy of that field is created. That's what we are calling it as a, a static field. A method is said to be static, then we are calling it as a static method. One more key point here is a static method can access only a static members. So if we want to access a static field, we can use only the class name. And similarly, if I want to access a static method, we have to use only a static uh, class name itself. So I am declaring three static variables n1, n2, sum, and then I am declaring three uh, a static method init num and then print num. I am printing the same thing. While we are calling this static method dot init num of i comma 10. Since this method is actually a static method, no need to create any object. Directly we are calling the method by passing the values 5 comma 10. And similarly, I am printing just uh, print num of and then similarly I am calling init num 15 comma 20. And then I am printing and similarly calling the third one. So any static method can be called by using a class name. While you are writing a Java program, you have a query that why this method is said to be a main method, this is said to be a static method. If we want to access a class methods we have to create an object so if I want to access any class member we must create an object so without creating an object if you want to access the method of a class obviously that method must be a static method while we are writing our program all those objects will be created inside the main function if you if we are discussing this particular example here you see if I want to access the methods of this class the actually the object is created inside the main function so if main function has to be executed first of all we have to call the main function but all those objects are created inside the main function so there is a dilemma here to avoid that this main function is declared as a static function so what is going to happen automatically this main function is called by using the class name itself so this class name is static method so while we are executing this program automatically the compiler will call that this by using the class name static method dot this static method static class name dot this static method name so that only this main function is called as a static method thanks for watching keep on visiting my channel thank you